Like a wig is not what I'm gonna be using to cover up my hair because that should not be happening. You should not be running to anything to cover up who you are. Because at that point it becomes an issue and at that point it can become an insecurity. And we're trying, we're not trying to be insecure. We're trying to be confident. We're trying to love ourselves. We're trying to be all around just like flourishing and loving who we are. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm gonna be doing a mukbang, a mukbang. I got like some breakfast here. So this is pretty much some eggs and chorizo with cut up Vienna sausages and some bacon. I'm on the keto diet, so, and I got my drink here. This is just the strawberry zero clear American drink. I don't know, it's zero fat, zero carbs, zero sugar, all that. So y'all already know I'm on the health train. And I've been doing keto for about a little over seven months, so it's been working for me. But anyway, we're gonna get right to the video. I got a few topics that I'm gonna discuss and we're just gonna be talking about my natural hair and y'all already know by the title and everything, so let's get started. A lot of you guys are probably already familiar like with my Big Chop video. And honestly, that video got a lot of hype and I just really didn't expect it, but I cut my hair and I made a video after that video on why I cut my hair and really, it's just like, the whole point of it was because I didn't want to put relaxers on my hair anymore, but I also wanted to embrace my natural self. But I feel like lately, not lately 100%, but I just been feeling like wearing wigs and I just want to make sure that I'm embracing myself because part of the reason that I cut my hair in the first place is because I wanted to embrace my natural hair. However it looked, how short it was, it doesn't matter. I just wanted to embrace it. And I feel like I still am embracing it, even if even if I wear wigs sometimes. Now, honestly, before I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna go on a three month protective style challenge and stuff. And I think I uploaded that video, or if not that video might be uploaded soon because I still am thinking about doing that. But then again, I don't know if I can really do a protective style challenge for three months because that's a long time. And I just wanna make sure that as my hair is growing, that I'm growing with it. You know what I mean? I don't just wanna cover it up. And I found myself in that position to where I was just like, I just wanna hide behind the wigs. Like I just wanna kind of wear a wig until my hair grows and until I can accept it when it's longer. Like, no, I feel like when you go on a journey of accepting yourself, you have to accept yourself. Even when there's really not much to accept, you need to accept yourself at those stages so that then you can really appreciate those stages. So that way, when you get out of those stages, like when my hair gets longer, I appreciate the process more than you know, if I get there, but I was wearing wigs the whole time. I was covering my hair up the whole time. You know what I mean? And truthfully, I have a few companies. Like, it's just crazy because I recently started YouTube and I didn't even think that it would be to this point. I really didn't. And I already have companies that are like trying to hit me up to send me hair, send me products and stuff like that. And the products is fine because I can apply that to my natural hair and give y'all content. But as far as the wigs, I'm like, I don't want to make my channel solely based on wigs because the key here is just naturalness. You know what I mean? So I might have a little video or two of rocking a wig or whatever, but overall, y'all don't be worried because the main content on my channel here is going to be my natural hair. That's what it's going to be focused on. And I'm not going to sit here and say, I'm not gonna be perfect on it or anything, but definitely like that is my goal. That is what I'm aiming for. That there are some times where I just get in like wig mode. I'm just like, oh, I'm just gonna wear wigs. Cause if I wear wigs, I'll get out of this stage quicker. Cause I'm not thinking about my hair. I'm not touching my hair. I'm moisturizing my hair daily, putting on my growth oil, putting on my satin bonnet at night. And I call it a day. I don't have to worry about styling my hair or anything like that. But it's just crazy how God works in mysterious ways because I already knew that after I cut my hair, like I was gonna love my hair because I love my hair short right now. Like I love this look, but I also like to switch it up a lot. But when switching it up, that's exactly what it's called, switching it up. It don't mean that now I'm just gonna be wearing this wig permanently, no. 
that's what it's called, switching it up. So I could wear a wig one day if I wanna have a little longer look. I can wear my natural hair one day, like, you know what I mean? But there's no ties to the weave. There's no ties to the fake stuff because the tie should be towards what God gave you. Like I should love my, my, I should love my hair overall over anything. Now this drink is so good. It tastes just like soda, but it's not soda. But it tastes just like a strawberry like Fanta. And it's really good for people who are trying to quit soda, but can't quite get the trick with water. This is bomb. But yeah, so I mean, at the end of the day, like I'm still striving for it. I'm still pushing forward. I'm going on almost one month post Big Chop and five months post relaxer because my last relaxer was November 3rd. On my Big Shop video, I said November 9th was my last relaxer, but I think I was just confusing that with another date. My last relaxer was November 3rd, because I have it on this app that I have like my hair journal stuff, and I just write down the dates that I used to do my relaxer, that I deep condition, I just write everything down. So yeah, on that app, it says that my last relaxer was November 3rd, 2018. So um, I'm coming up pretty quickly here on a few months, and my hair, I honestly feel like my hair, it still feels short. I mean, I don't really care that it looks short. I like it like this. And I feel like even as it grows in the awkward stage, I'm gonna like the awkward stage. Like some people are like, oh, like an awkward stage, but I don't know. I, I feel like I'm just really excited for all the different stages that my hair is about to go through. And I'm so ready to just like update you guys. I'm definitely gonna be doing like updates. Like one month update definitely is coming on my channel. I have to do a one month update. Like who does not do a one month post big chop update? And after that, I might not do updates every single month, but I'll do like every three months. I'll probably do one for five and six months or three months, six months, 12 months. I mean, I'll do like mini updates in between, maybe like during certain videos and stuff like that. So y'all can just know what's going on with my hair. But I'm gonna be updating y'all, definitely. I feel like a lot of people fall into, I don't know, I feel like it just has to do a lot with society too because in society, what looks the best over anything, over curls, over kinkiness, is straight hair, you know what I mean? And then I just feel like I'm just kind of, I'm just not really making my statement by cutting my hair and then wearing wigs all the time. I'ma still wear wigs regardless, whether some people who was given negative comments, whether y'all like it or not, I'ma still wear wigs regardless if I feel like wearing a wig, but wig is not my go-to. Like a wig is not what I'm gonna be using to cover up my hair because that should not be happening. You should not be running to anything to cover up who you are because at that point it becomes an issue and at that point it can become an insecurity and we're trying we're not trying to be insecure we're trying to be confident we're trying to love ourselves you know what i mean we're trying to be all around just like flourishing and loving who we are that's what the goal is and that's what i'm pushing for here on my channel so by the way, if you're watching this and you're not subscribed yet, I can't even say subscribe. <laughs> if you're not subscribed yet, you will know if you're subscribed because the little bottom, I think it's at the bottom to the right side, the button will be red. That means you're not subscribed. So you need to click that. And when it turns gray, that means you're subscribed. And then right next to it, yep, there's a bell. Make sure you hit that bell because it notifies you each and every time that I have a new upload. Make sure you do that. That's very, very important. Cause I know some of y'all be having a lot of people here on YouTube that y'all follow. And some videos can fall behind or you don't see that the person uploaded. So make sure you upload the, make sure you upload, make sure you click that bell because you will get notified. And you can even go as far as adding my videos to a watch later. If you see that I posted and you're busy, go real quick. There's three little dots next to my video. Add my video to a watch later. And you go back to that list when you have time to watch my video and you can watch my video there. Plain and simple. I use the watch later a lot because I'd be busy sometimes, but I want to make sure I don't forget to watch certain videos. So I use the watch later. Y'all should y'all should start using that. Honestly, I don't really like the hot dogs with the eggs. It kind of tasted weird. 
But this is where I'm at with my hair journey. Y'all gonna be seeing me. I'm here to stay, believe that. Um, I just wanna thank you guys to my new subscribers. Like, thank you for following me. Y'all keep in touch. Um, I wanna mention, I'm going to be doing Instagram horror stories. Well, not Instagram horror stories. I'm gonna be doing story time horror stories on my channel. This is what you gotta do in order to get in. All you have to do is go to my social media. Make sure you're following my social media, by the way. It's always in the description boxes on all of my videos. So go to my social media, my Instagram and Snapchat, but mainly Instagram. DM me any story that you have had as far as with your natural or relaxed hair or when you were relaxed. Just DM me a story, a whole story. Like I wanna hear all, I wanna know all the deets. I wanna know everything on this story. I will shout out your name. If you want it to be anonymous, I'll keep it anonymous, no problem with that. But DM me your stories, okay? Because I'm gonna be doing these videos once a week and I'm gonna have a specific day as to where I upload these videos. But definitely with the story time video, I'm gonna be doing that once a week for you guys and then my regular videos for the rest of the days of the week. So if y'all are interested, make sure that you DM me those stories, okay? That is it for this mukbang. It was pretty quick. I didn't have much food, so I'm already done. If you guys like this video, again, make sure that you give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my YouTube channel because we are up and we are coming. And I'm so thirsty in this video because I'm talking too much. But thank you guys again for watching. Make sure that you follow me on my social media accounts down below, my Snapchat and everything like that. And I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye. Okay, shorty, okay, shorty, okay, shorty, okay, shorty.